Hey guys, Jason here, Traditional Bowling Wilderness Podcast. A couple quick little camping tips for you. When you're setting up for camp, um, make sure you bring a hammer. I did not. And uh, I thought I had a hammer in my truck, but I took it out when I was building my shed. So I'd use that piece of wood to, and so I didn't even knock all my stakes in because they're, they're huge stakes and they're a pain to get through this gravel. So make sure you always bring a hammer with you so you don't end up uh, like I am where I did not even get to put all my stakes in. Uh, that's one thing for you, but a good cook kit like this one here, this one I've had this now for 20 something years, the Stanport one. We've used it for everything. It's got all the different bowls here. I threw some silverware in it, um, but this thing has been through the ringer and used a lot. Uh, this one lid fits all three pan sizes. It's got the indentions in there, um, but a good cook kit like that comes in handy. We got the lid actually, Tina's over here whipping up some taters in it right now. Um, so that's going there and we got a cast iron pan for our steaks we're going to do but a uh, single burner stove not only is this handy for um, using when you're camping but that in conjunction with this pot right here if you're doing out of state hunts you have to boil your heads before you bring them back into whatever state you're coming to you can't bring them in with any brain matter in them so being able to boil your heads out that's what this pot is for and uh, I can put it right on top of the single burner and boil the head. So this whole kit fits right inside of there. So does my cook kit that's over there. So just a nice little tip for you. Solar showers are definitely a gold mine. I have this one in here. I have another one right there. So I got two solar showers. We got our thermosel stuff right here. Uh, pads and things. I got a thermosel going over here by the dogs. Uh, just for them down there because they're down low to keep that off them. And you'll also notice I have pine cones burning right here just simple pine cones i throw one in there every once in a while when we need them they're laying around everywhere take a pine cone and set it in here like this and um, they smoke a lot okay they give out a lot of smoke and they burn for probably i don't know maybe seven minutes of pine cone um but what that's doing is that's keeping our campsite from the gnats and the mosquitoes keeping all that away because of that smoke coming out of here the wind's just blowing it around like i said i have the thermosel running for the dogs but this is kind of a game changer as far as uh you know we're not we didn't bring enough wood to keep a fire going all and we're gonna go do some uh, herping later on tonight and looking for snakes so we don't want a full fire going but these simple pine cones um, like I said that'll help keep all that gnats away and keep the mosquitoes away and stuff like that so just a couple little simple tips for you make sure you bring a garbage bag garbage bag is very valuable to have because that way you're not leaving crap laying all over the place um, and a little folding table these lanterns are also a gold mine I've shown you these before in all my hunting ones, but uh, these Nembos, okay? These Nembo uh, poppies are the best ones by far because they are dimmable and adjustable. Me one-handed here, but you can see they're a pop-up lantern, but you can turn them on. I don't know if this one's got batteries in it yet. Nope, I gotta put batteries in it. I don't ever leave the batteries in them because in fact, if you do, they, uh, um, you know, they could go acid. They could break down and acid could ruin the connections in there. But these things go, they light up this way and they also have a light on the bottom and they are dimmable. But I will have to put batteries in them, which brings us to another point. Always make sure in your camp kit, you have dish soap, things that you need, toilet paper, and you'll see here, ha ha. Lots of batteries for my lanterns, okay? So we'll be putting those in there, but very important to have all that kind of stuff in there with you. These pots are for boiling water for my solar shower. So if it was cold out and uh, I wanted to take a hot shower, I would take this down to the lake and I would fill this up with water. I would set it on top of this burner right here real quick till we get it hot. Once it's a hot one, I pour that in with a cold one into my solar shower. I hang that up and now I have a good cold, or I mean a good hot shower to take. But see how that's working real good there and keeping, uh, like I said, just burning pine cones, keeping the gnats away, keeping uh, the mosquitoes away, just something simple and effective that works really good. So makes for a good camp setup. Um, and the last one here, I'm missing one. I don't know what happened to it, so I have to replace it but if you are using a floored tent underneath your tent put these little furniture pads in there they will protect your tent floor from getting scuffed by your feet i'm missing one right there behind the bag i don't know what happened to it um i'll have to get more but these little furniture pads i learned this trick from matt steed and uh, it's a great trick to be able to you know prevent your floor from getting ruined uh by your cots or anything like that too so just kind of nice and simple and makes moving them around real easy so uh just a couple of tips you see i got another lantern sitting right there um, one of those Dumbo lanterns we use our this is the storage bin that all the t uh, the, the tent and everything go in and we use it like a actual uh, nightstand table right there between us so just simple easy and effective setup and works like a champ 
And uh, the Kodiak Canvas tent, obviously one of the most amazing tents that's ever been made. This tent is incredible. I have it this now. See, you got a door on this side. We also have a door on this side. And since we are facing the water, and I'm not getting any rain coming today, um, we're, we're leaving tomorrow. But uh, So there's no reason to have this awning where we got to deal with it outside and have the pole. So I actually put it in this lowered down position here that you see, sloped it down, mainly just so we get a little privacy from everybody and we leave these windows open. But from up here, you can't see that very well. You know, it kind of blocks and hides that stuff pretty good in there. It gives you a little more privacy if the windows are open. And uh, that's what I did with it, and it also keeps the shade on the cooler, uh, which is a nice little setup. But it's a great little campsite. Only downer, only bummer, like I said, I didn't bring a hammer to be able to put all the stakes in the tent. Uh, but, you know, we're here just uh, chilling, relaxing, uh, spending a couple days. And uh, those are just hopefully some quick little tips for you uh, to make your setup easier. Um, but we're getting ready to throw stakes on. We're going to put stakes on here. We could also cook them if I would have brought more wood. You can see they give you a nice grate on here, uh, but I did not bring enough wood that I think we could actually do it. And with it not getting dark till later, we don't want to eat tonight at 1030 when we get back. So we're eating first. Um, so that grate's not going to work good for us. So a little Coleman stove. I've had this one for 15 years. It's been through a lot. It's been used quite a bit. I keep it clean and take care of it, but uh, it's been used quite a few times. And um, But just, you know, take care of them, treat them right, and they last you for a long time. But we're going to put that cast iron. I don't know if we're going to cook them in a the cast iron or we're going to cook them right on a griddle. That's up to T. What are we doing? Cast iron pans going right on here. Seasonings, butter, whole deal. We'll cook those once the taters are getting closer. And uh, then we're going to get everything set. But kind of wanted to show you some of this stuff. Give you a few little tips for everything. Um, you know, kind of help you out. But a, a, a dedicated camp accessory bin like this makes life really nice. Pine cones cooking, keep all the bugs away. A nice folding table and some of your... I mean, this is a quick, easy setup. This tent here takes five minutes to put up. I mean, you go from no tent to a full done tent in five minutes. And it's about an eight-minute teardown for everything there, including our cots. So very simple, easy process. And, uh, you know, great little camp setup, especially for a quick little getaway like this. Beautiful day right here in uh, southeast Georgia. Look at this right on a lake. Just perfect. And a couple folding chairs. Life is good. All right. Thanks for watching.